Between 2010 and 2021, there have been over 1,400 human trafficking victims identified. Over 400 of those victims were under the age of 18, and over 1,300 of them were girls. Over 1,100 were trafficked in sex, nearly 200 in labor, and over 50 in both. Breaking the Chains is fighting to combat human trafficking and give these victims a new start. Human trafficking is one of the most significant issues impacting our community today. If you consider the fact that the average age an individual enters into human trafficking is between 12 and 14 years old, and then factor in that right here in Fresno County, three out of five youth already, if engaging in social media activities, have most likely been approached by a trafficker. These are really scary figures. Human trafficking is one of the most significant issues impacting our community today. We know right now that three out of five youth engaging in social media activities will in fact be approached by a trafficker. Breaking the Chains was co-founded by Deborah and myself. Deborah came in and shared her story about being a survivor of human trafficking and that she had Breaking the Chains and some prayer walks scheduled. In 2015, with the partnership with the Fresno Mission and Fresno Police Department, we were able to assist in our first rescue. With the collaborations that we were able to make throughout California, in the first year, we were able to place that victim into a safe house in another area. Deborah and I took full advantage of all of the training, all of the trauma resources, getting to know everything that we needed to know about starting our own organization and how to be able to partner with all local law enforcement agencies. We now have full trauma-informed services for all victims of human trafficking. Children, adults, men, women, everyone and anyone who has been impacted by human trafficking has an opportunity to change their lives through the services that we provide. Human trafficking, that issue is, is darkness. Trafficking is probably one of the most destructive things uh, to an individual that can happen to them. It destroys them emotionally, psychologically, not only the physical abuse that goes with it, it really destroys the identity of the individual. Breaking the Chains is the most effective organization I have seen in terms of dealing with the trafficked population. A part of rescuing and restoring the lives of many is, is what it is that we do to make this community a safer place and a better place. Breaking the Chains is the one that actually rescued these girls from the lifestyle in which they've been uh, lured into and oftentimes coerced into and forced to remain in. If it wasn't for Breaking the Chains and giving those people an opportunity uh, to be able to escape that lifestyle, um, I can't imagine what would happen. We support Breaking the Chains uh, because they really are an industry leader in our local area at the fight against human trafficking. Breaking the Change and the Fresno Mission have a long-standing relationship with Breaking the Change. It was originally kind of incubated and it kind of started out of our Rescue the Children facility. And so we have had this common alignment in our belief of rescuing people out of crisis, but then also putting them on personal pathways of transformation. And so we believe in the DNA behind Breaking the Chains, and we've loved being able to watch them grow over the years from such a small, originally a small nonprofit organization to an organization that is so deep in terms of their resources, their expertise, their knowledge to combat this very difficult, very important issue of human trafficking. We know human trafficking is at crisis levels here in the Fresno region. We just wrapped up the uh, longest long-term gang investigation using technology in the county's history and we knew that human trafficking funds the gangs is their number one source of income and because of that chief balderrama and i sit on the breaking the chains board breaking the chains makes impactful changes not just to the people they serve but to the community deborah is a survivor so she knows firsthand what it takes and what's needed to make a better life for yourself and that's something i respect I admire. Breaking the chains is restoration, rejuvenation, a new beginning, a new life, choices, dreams, aspiration, and everything you can think of that you want for yourself in life because BTC is a family. 
you know better, you do better. That is our motto. That is what we are taught from day one when we walk through this door. I support Breaking the Chains because I have seen and experienced the life-changing work that they do for victims of human trafficking. They go above and beyond to help survivors achieve a well-rounded life outside of the trauma that they experienced. We no longer live in this time where there's this homelessness bucket and this human trafficking bucket and domestic violence bucket and addiction bucket and foster care bucket. We live in a time where there's this big bucket of people who are life insecure that have, that have a variety of things going on. Oftentimes, someone who struggles with homelessness has also struggled with human trafficking. Or the kids that are aging out of the foster care where the foster care system hasn't worked for them are being targeted by people that are human traffickers. They're stripped of their identities. Uh, their working conditions are, and these are people, these are, these are women that grew up in, in Fresno, you know, in, in the surrounding areas. And they're being used. They're being used uh, day and night, uh, no breaks, and they're funding the gang members at, at levels that uh, we haven't seen before. Human trafficking, the sexual exploitation of those who are most vulnerable, are, is such a core thing that we have to target. Deborah Rush and her staff do an amazing job, and they're really focused on the quality of services they provide versus the, the quantity. Uh, even though in their first eight years they probably served over a thousand people, um, they're definitely doing a, a great job. It's not just women, it's men, women, and children that affects, and it affects the family members. Human trafficking is a disease. Until people understand and realize that and stop treating everybody like they're a suspect and not a victim, then we'll never get through this. To hold this type of position and to communicate with the victims and develop that trust and relationship. So, uh, and Breaking the Chains has that, so they're, they're exceptional at, at what they do. You know, it ex exploits the vulnerable population and you've got people out there who are down on their luck, uh, can't get on their feet, have nowhere to go. And, you know, these are, these are the people that they target because they know that they have uh, little options in life. So they take, they're taking advantage of these people. Last year, uh, with working with Breaking the Chains, our detectives and our patrol officers, we rescued 106 victims uh, from the streets where they got shelter, they got classes through Breaking the Chains, and they uh, became stronger. When I think about that question, why human trafficking is so important to me, I think about my why, my reason. You know, I have a daughter, a newly added son, nieces, nephews, cousins, families, and friends, and I would do anything to protect them. And human trafficking is just a serious, common issue that needs to be addressed. It needs to make people feel uncomfortable. And combating for them is, in one way, combating for myself. We just have to keep talking about it and making people uncomfortable so they'll listen. So I never understood what human trafficking was until I was uh, until I heard about it on KMJ. And when I heard about it on KMJ, it, it really pulled at my heart, tugged at my heart, because I realized that's what we have going on in our community. These young kids are our future. And so I knew when I heard that, that we had to bring Breaking the Chains into Parlier. They need someone to help them. They need someone to, to advocate for them, to protect them. And so I feel that, that breaking the chains is someone that's there to do that for them. It's so important what breaking the chains is doing because they're not only educating people, but they're also there to protect the young ladies and to give them options, to give them a way out and to help them build them back up again. Human trafficking is a huge issue. Um, it doesn't really affect just one aspect of our society. Clovis is such a huge problem in our city, and a lot of people might not know that, but it, it affects our city, and it's something we're constantly dealing with. It takes great courage to ask for help. Whatever your past is does not need to determine your future. I commend them for their resiliency to fight their way back and gain control of their life and get their freedom back and, and enjoy the, uh, you know, the pleasures that life has to offer. But I also would tell them not to allow this to continue to control them because that trauma is a crisis and it can manifest into uh, mental illness, depression, anxiety. So I would recommend that they seek 
whatever help they need to get their life and control their life and not allow this to continue to control any more part of their life. With the trauma that's happened, that's not their fault, but they are not defined by those things that's happened to them, that they still have such a loving and bright and abundant future ahead of them. I'm so happy that breaking the change can play a part in that transformation. You're not alone. I understand. I know a safe place that can help. And have you heard of breaking the chains? Don't give up. Don't stop. Don't stop fighting. Your life is worth it. You have to know your self-worth. Reach out and get the help that you need, regardless of how afraid you feel. I believe that everyone has the right to be free. In human trafficking, people are held captive. I am free today because God and breaking the chains have helped me to find freedom. I believe in the freedom that I found, and I want that for the lives of others. You're deserving of a life of love and happiness and safety, and God loves you. It is incredibly important that we understand, especially those who may be impacted by human trafficking, that this is not your fault. That personally and professionally, I can say that I have seen human trafficking impact individuals from all socioeconomic backgrounds, north of Shaw and south of Shaw. This is an issue that impacts every single one of us sitting here today. So on behalf of all of those that we serve, the lives impacted by human trafficking, our entire community, Tiffany and I for sure, law enforcement and all of our community partners we want to extend a sincere thank you thank you for showing up tonight thank you for taking the time to come out and find out a little bit more about what we do and how you can get involved everything that we do we do simply because you care so again on behalf of all the lives that you have impacted and you will hopefully impact we want you to remember that together, together we are breaking the chains, chains.